Every year, more than 40,000 people stream through the gates of Australia's biggest music festival, Splendour in the Grass, to see their favourite bands play. But young people have joined a class action to sue the New South Wales police for unlawful strip searches at the music festival over the last five years. We think that people who have undergone an unlawful strip search will be entitled to substantial compensation. So in serious cases, the compensation could be tens of thousands of dollars. Chad Hellman was 25 when he was heading into the event in 2016. He says he was grabbed by a police officer who said a drug dog sat down next to him, which is supposed to indicate he's got an illegal substance. He was then taken away by police. I didn't actually have to take my shirt off at all. It was just straight, take your pants off, turn around um, and bend over, open up. I sort of felt there was a big invasion to my privacy. Um, like my dignity was just gone for that moment in time. Like in the majority of strip searches in New South Wales, police did not find any illegal drugs on Chad, just an insulin pen for his diabetes. It is my medication, I need to be carrying it and I've got every right to be carrying that sort of thing on me. In 2019, the police watchdog, the Law Enforcement Conduct Commission, heard a 16-year-old girl was asked to remove her panty liner while being strip searched at Splendour in the Grass. Well, strip searches are highly invasive procedures and so the law prescribes a very strict test for when they are lawful. The circumstances have to be very serious and urgent in order for a strip search to be justified. In a statement, New South Wales Police says it's up to the courts to decide whether a strip search has been conducted lawfully and that officers consider the risks of someone overdosing or dying when determining whether a strip search is legally warranted. Avani Dias, ABC News.